All right, so it's finally here, the complete review of MIUI 14 for the Poco X3 Pro. Now we will be testing the Indian update as well, but as I have been using the global one for the last one week, I thought I should give it a review and tell you guys whether you should upgrade or not. Hello everyone, my name is Kalash and you're watching Phone Ops. So if you've not already, please subscribe because we bring amazing content like this to you every single day. And in today's review, we're going to check the complete review of MIUI 14.0.1 with Android 13 for the Poco X3 Pro. So without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash, let's get going. All right, so first things first, as you can see, this is MIUI Global 14.0.1. And if we talk about the change log, it does say basic stuff like optimized system performance, improved system security and stability. It doesn't really give you the complete MIUI 14 change log over here, which is a little weird because as far as I know, Xiaomi is used or Poco is used to bragging about their updates even when they are not bringing you know many meaningful changes and this is actually a pretty decent upgrade the Android version has gone up the security patch is that of January and if you see over here we do have the Android 13 Easter egg as well which works absolutely fine so yeah this is true blue Android 13 that is available for the Poco X3 Pro now there are a list of changes that I've made a note about and observed over the last one week because I did use this phone as a secondary device i tried the camera i tried the battery backup charging gaming benchmarks everything and that is the reason this is going to be very very exciting so first things first the moment you boot into this particular update you will see that we have a very very clean user interface and for a normal person like me after looking at the miui 14 china launch i would expect a lot of goodies like new widgets and new systems and new super icons and stuff Unfortunately, a lot of that is missing. And if you remember, I did mention that in the MIUI 13 review as well, that the global update of MIUI 14 will have a lot of things missing. And that actually is the case. Now, the moment you boot into the home screen, you have a very similar control center over here. You do have smart devices over here, but the music player from the bottom is missing and no additional tiles have been added. Although one major update that you can notice in this particular system is the smoothness. And trust me, that is not coming from Xiaomi. That is coming from Google itself because Android 13 as a whole, be it a stock ROM or custom ROM, is much, much smoother compared to Android 12. So it is at least good that they haven't screwed it up and made it worse. So the smoothness, the app icon animations are pretty good. But this being Poco Launcher, you know, the app icon animations are not that amazing. Very soon there'll be a video comparing the MIUI 14 Global with China or India with China. And we will see what are the things that are different. Now, as you can see, these two icons over here are following the material you theming system. So a lot of Google apps do that. And these are the only two system apps that are actually following the material use system over here. Now that is sad to see because you know, a lot of things that they have added over here are not complete along with material U. So Monet is working, but not for all the applications. And I really hope by MIUI 14.1 or MIUI 15, they actually get their act together and get this going. Now, apart from this, if you press and hold over here, you will see that you have a very, very standard setup that you used to get earlier and see what we have here. We have the good old Android 12 MIUI 13 widgets. So the super widgets or the new MIUI 14 widgets are clearly missing from here. Even if you go to the wallpaper menu, you will see a few wallpapers which are static and from MIUI 14. So if we see here, let's go ahead and select this. Once again, you know, a quick uh, reminder of Monet actually working but not being implemented properly. Bam. So sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So a lot of wallpapers are missing, the super widgets are missing and even the super icons are missing. So if you long press over here, you still get the standard MIUI 13 vibe over here. So that's definitely not good, but let's actually go to launcher settings over here. So if you go to Poco launcher, you will see that most of the settings are similar over here, but you now have an option to change the animation speed. You can also go ahead and change the icon size and the background color can be changed from here. As you can see, it is now purple. That's about it. No major changes as far as the launcher is concerned. But yes, I did state that the multitasking and the 
animations are very very smooth and multitasking in my opinion is a little better compared to 13 which is a welcome addition and over here you do see what type of extended ram you're getting so that is another addition just like realme ui that they have made over here so yes multitasking works fine animations are smooth no major concerns over here but what about the miui 14 changes that we were expecting now the first major addition it's not a new feature but something that they have fixed is the smoothness of Google Feed, which in my opinion is a very, very good thing. So they have definitely fixed it completely. Even though they have not given a ton of new features, at least the phone is now more usable. I have stated it in the past that I am a Google Feed user. I use it on every device, in, even on my personal phone, the H30 Ultra, I go ahead and use it. So all in all, the smoothness has been fixed. The app icon animations are at least better, if not perfect. Now let's look at the security application over here. Now the moment you boot into the security application, you see a very, very familiar interface and the version is 7.4 and even the game turbo is still just like MIUI 13. No major changes in game turbo as well. Although the gaming performance and the benchmark performance was significantly better, leaving one or two apps here and there. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied as far as the performance is concerned. Talking about the apps that have been updated with MIUI 14, we also have a few changes in the camera section over here. You can see that now the font is smaller over here and the whole UI looks a little different. No major changes to the picture clarity. So of course, they have made changes to the camera app and it follows more of a Leica camera app system over here now. That is another good thing. Moving on, another app that got some changes is the gallery application. As you can see, it now follows the new user interface and has a few additional changes over here. The settings menu looks different. Even if you go to say any image over here and you go to the edit menu, you still get the old AI editor, but the editor does have a few new options. So that in my opinion is a good thing. So MII 14 as a whole is a mixed bag for global and Indian users because it gives you a combination of things that were already present and some optimizations. So for me, this is more like MIUI 13.5 and not MIUI 14. Now let's actually go to settings here. The moment you go to settings, you will see that these icons are new. Okay, that is a change that they have definitely made over here. If, if you go to lock screen settings, there is nothing much that has changed. Moving on to display, you still get the dark mode with per app controls. I do feel some apps are missing from here. But overall, the dark mode is present and it works okay, right? Now, whenever you use this phone in refresh rate of 120 hertz, it works really, really well. Even if you go to the control center and status bar, not many changes have been made. Now, if you go to sound, haptics are better, which in my opinion is a welcome addition. So sound and haptics, definitely there is some improvement. Clear speaker option is present as well. If we move on to notifications and control center, as you can see, you still have the old control center. No major changes made over here. And there is just smart home control center and notification said. So that option of the music player is clearly missing from here. Now, home screen wallpaper and themes is something that we have already covered. Moving on in passwords and security, of course, the fingerprint scanner and face unlock are working absolutely okay. Now, talking about the battery life, you do get the performance toggle over here, but you don't really get the new battery health UI, which was leaked via a lot of screenshots and was supposed to be launched with MIUI 14. Now, as you can see, I have used the phone for around six hours here and still we have a good amount of battery that is 68%. So, you know, this was very, very light usage, like reading and watching videos and stuff and some gaming as well. So the battery life is definitely good. Even the charging speeds on MIUI 14, in my opinion, are pretty decent. One hour, 20 minutes on a 33 watt charger for five to 100%, in my opinion, is pretty, pretty decent. Now, if you, if you go to the apps section, no major changes here. If you go to the permissions menu, similar stuff. Now, apart from this, if you go to additional settings, you will see that you have clear speaker present over here. Floating windows are present and the best part is sidebar is still present. In memory extension, you do have an option of two, three or five gigabytes. But as you can see, it shows it's selected as two GB over here, but at the top it says five GB. So what is MIUI or what is an MIUI update without any bugs, right? Now you do have enterprise mode over here, which could be good for business users. I've not tried it personally, so no comments there. But apart from this, the privacy section still looks the old, no major changes there, a few changes here and there. 
So all in all, if you ask me, MIUI 14 is an update that you should definitely try, but what is an update without any performance numbers, right? So let's actually go to Antutu benchmark over here. Now, as you can see, the score in Antutu that we got with Game Turbo enabled was 535632. Now, mind you, this was done when the device was cold at 28 degrees on the battery and it did increase the temperature by 8.8 .8 degrees Celsius. As you can see over here, these are the individual numbers of CPU, GPU, memory and user interface. Moving on, let's actually go to gallery and grab a screenshot that we had of the CPU throttling test. Now, as you can see, the CPU throttled to 86% of its max performance and the average score was 198,000 GIPS with a maximum score of 216,15 GIPS. And as you can see, the performance was pretty consistent and that is evident in gaming as well. Now, leaving benchmarks aside, there is a small clip of VGMI that I was playing to test the gaming performance. You can have a look at that and I will tell you for 60 FPS gaming, be it Call of Duty Mobile, BGMI or Apex Mobile, the leading games that we are playing these days on smartphones, it's doing a pretty good job this particular update. I did not notice any major frame drops or any touch issues at all. Touch response in my opinion has been pretty good, but I should tell you that I'm using a plastic screen protector that is supplied with the phone when you buy it brand new. I am not using a glass and on any Poco or Xiaomi devices, if you're having any touch issues, first thing to troubleshoot is to remove the glass. Last but not the least, a few Android 13 features are missing as well. Something like a notification pop-up which was introduced by Google for Android 13 is missing and a few other MIUI China features which I already mentioned are missing. So to sum it all, if you ask me, this is a brilliant update. If you have a Poco X3 Pro and you're a global or Indian user, you should definitely go ahead and give it a try. In my opinion, it will give you a better experience overall in terms of UI smoothness and using the phone, if not many new features. This was a complete review of Poco X3 Pro. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.